Hey guys, it's Will from Fly Aerial and welcome to our first unboxing video. Amimon has given us this Connex Mini for us to test out over the next few months and we're going to be writing a review in Drone Magazine and also doing the unboxing videos here, so let's get started. So when the Connex arrives, it arrives in this really nice box and all the details on the front just here, so we've got Aerial HD video kit, uncompressed 1080p 60 frames per second, 500 meter distance, on screen display with flight telemetry, HDMI input and output and it's zero delay which is really important for live event coverage or something like that. So we're going to be testing this over the next few weeks and getting back to you with our, with our feedback for it. Sliding it open. And we've got this box here. So take out the lid. So here we have this is your air unit. So on here you've got your air reels, which I'm sure we'll find inside. USB port, LED indicators. On the back here you've got your HMI, power, and the control link as well. Underneath here we've got the quick setup guide in a variety of different languages. And here is your ground unit. So on here you've got three aerials. OSD which gives you the on-screen display on your monitor. Power. A HDMI. USB and an RC function. Then in the bottom of the really nice box, we have our antennas. And our cables. Let's get rid of this. And in here we've got an absolute plethora of different cables for every functionality. So in those boxes we have everything we need to get the Connex working. Um, so here we connect the antennas onto the air unit. That's just a really simple connection. And this side as well. And what we're looking for from these is for them to be at 90 degrees to one another. Um, so this will want to be pointing this way and the other one will want to point that way. That way you get the best transmission. We're going to be attaching these onto the bottom of our Movi M5 gimbal. So that's those. And then on the ground unit, all you're doing is connecting these three antennas onto here like this. Then all we need to do is connect the power up. We've got a power cable here that just plugs into the side. A HDMI cable here, which plugs in there. This goes straight into your monitor, and the power straight into a two to six cell battery, which I'm sure everyone will have. With the air unit, all we then need to do is connect up the HDMI goes into this one here, and then the power cable, which some of you might need to adjust, and this just goes into this socket here. So that's is all set up, all we need to do now is put it on the Mobi. 
Okay guys, so here is the Connex Mini attached onto the Movi M5 which will be up in the air, so this is the air unit. As you can see here we've got the aerials on the back, we've got a power cable plugged in and we made a little jump lead here so that this can plug straight into the Movi M5 battery. We've also got the HDMI cable that goes straight into the Connex and straight to the back of the camera. Lastly, we've attached the aerials onto the Movi M5 opposites at 90 degrees just with a couple of zip ties on the Movi arm there. So powering up, all we do plug this straight into the Movi battery and just on the bottom there you'll notice some little lights that come on flashing to say you're connected. So as you can see here's our pilot camera transmitter. We've got two screens on here, one for the gimbal view and one for the drone view with the telemetry on it. Turning this round, we have the Connex ground unit on the back here just with Velcro and all you have to do is connect that up with the HDMI cable straight into the back of the monitor. Then we power it with a split connector which goes out to an XT60 which we power with a 5, five cell battery and that plugs straight into the bottom there. All you need to do, plug the battery in, it will automatically detect the unit that's in the air and you're good to go. One pointer we have found is that the ground unit is the most expensive part of the system and if you only have one it's difficult to do dual camera operation um, because you will either have it on the pilot or the camera operator so what we found useful is this HDMI loop here so all we need to do is run a HDMI lead straight from this monitor into the gimbal operator's monitor and we get a HDMI feed on both monitors so I hope you guys have found this unboxing video useful. If you've got any questions at all, feel free to drop us a question in the comments box below. Also, if you've liked it, please give us a like and follow us on Instagram, which is at F-L-E-Y-E underscore Ariel, on Facebook.com slash Fly Ariel. And join us again next time where we'll be using the Connex Mini on the drone and testing its range out. See you then.